these zookeepers filmed a gorilla while she was giving birth for the first time. When she got up, they all screamed, for a beautiful reason. Western lowland gorillas are native to the forested and swampy areas of Central Africa. Sadly, their population fell by 60% over the last 25 years and these animals are now endangered. So when the staff at the Smithsonian National Zoo learned that they would be adding a new member to their family, they were overjoyed. All thanks to Kalea, a 15-year-old gorilla. Kalea was born at the zoo, and even though she had a caring primate mum, everyone at the zoo became like her father and her mother to her. Unlike the other gorillas, Kalea was quite friendly, so the staff enjoyed spending quality time with her. They figured out that she would make a great mother someday, and they couldn't wait for her to give birth. Unfortunately, it turned out to be a long wait. Most female gorillas give birth around the age of 10, but that wasn't the case for Kalea. When Kalea turned 14, the staff feared that she would never have a baby. However, the following year, the staff noticed a change in Kalea's behavior. You see, it's difficult to tell if a gorilla is pregnant because they have a huge stomach. However, they exhibit pregnancy symptoms similar to humans. These symptoms include morning sickness, nausea, and lack of appetite. And Kalea had all these signs. Meredith Bastian, a staff member at the zoo, was the first person who noticed Kalea's pregnancy signs, and she told her colleagues about it. They conducted a standard human pregnancy test on Kalea, but it was negative. Two weeks later, Meredith insisted that they try another test, and the staff agreed. They all gathered around the animal while Meredith carried out the test. When the test was ready, Meredith picked it up with her eyes closed. The staff planned to count to three, after which point Meredith would open up her eyes and tell them the result. So, at the count of three, Meredith opened her eyes and she looked down at the test stick. There were two thick lines. Then she screamed, It's positive! Kalea is pregnant! The team was ecstatic, but they also knew that they had a lot of work to do. It was Kalea's first time giving birth, so the staff worked to get her ready for the delivery and nursing phase. Luckily for them, Kalea was a fast learner. They taught her to urinate on command to allow hormone analysis and to manipulate her breasts to assess lactation and allow nutrient evaluation. Kalea also took part in ultrasound scans so that the staff could chart the baby's development and track its progress. The team also trained Kalea's mother, Mandora, to be a foster mum in case Kalea was unable or unwilling to look after her baby. But as time passed, all the signs showed that Kalea would have a great relationship with her child. As the pregnancy went on, the staff frequently checked up on Kalea to make sure that she and her baby were in good health. You see, gorillas tend to be aggressive after giving birth, so the staff trained Kalea to get used to humans taking care of the baby. They did this in case the baby turned out to be in bad health, which would mean that the staff would have to step in and take care of it. Gorilla's pregnancy often lasts eight months, so when Kalea reached the seventh month, the staff grew really excited and they couldn't wait to meet the new baby gorilla. That month, they named the unborn gorilla Mok, which means little one in Lingala, an African language. The staff also prepared Kalea for motherhood by giving her toys to cuddle. They also showed her videos of other gorillas caring for their babies. One evening, Kalea finally went into labor. Labor usually lasts 6 to 12 hours for these primates, so when Kalea was still in labor after hours, the staff didn't think twice about it. However, when it reached 11 hours, they became worried. They stood a few meters away from the gorilla and none of them took their eyes off of her. One staff member also captured everything on camera. After 13 hours of labor, Kalea finally pushed out her baby. As soon as the baby boy came out, the gorilla got up and covered her baby's face with gentle kisses. The bond was instantaneous. The staff couldn't hold back their tears, and they screamed happily. None of them had seen a gorilla give birth at the age of 15, so understandably, they were over the moon. Everyone welcomed the newest member of the primate family with thunderous claps and cheers. The staff took good care of Kalea and Mok. To date, Kalea and her son share a beautiful and unbreakable bond. It's a wonderful thing that Kalea single-handedly gave birth to her son, but not all gorillas can do that. Some of them require surgery, as was the case for this one gorilla at the Philadelphia Zoo. In 2016, when Kira, one gorilla at the Philadelphia Zoo, fell pregnant, 
everyone was excited. The zoo had a clean record of successfully helping its animals have a safe and natural delivery. However, in 2016, it was an entirely different case. You see, unlike humans, gorillas do not go through extremely painful labor pains. While in labor, female gorillas can eat snacks, walk around, and just do anything they feel like. They act so normal, in fact, that it takes only a trained observer to know that something important is happening. This is why most gorilla births are seldom witnessed or recorded. But luckily for the zookeepers in Philadelphia, they noticed some unusual signs when Kira went into labor. The gorilla started stretching her arms above her head, and she was also making squatting motions. Kira went into labor towards evening time, and by midnight, her condition was still the same. The staff got tired of waiting, so they retired for the night, thinking Kira would give birth before dawn. But much to their surprise, when they got to her cage the next day, Kira was still in labor. She looked ill and exhausted. They gave her food, but she refused to eat, so it was a no-brainer that poor Kira couldn't give birth on her own. She needed an OBGYN. The zoo called a nearby hospital, and an OBGYN, Rebecca, picked up the call. Hello, it's us. We're thinking of doing a C-section, and we're ready to put her under anesthesia, a staff member from the zoo said. Rebecca was confused. She wasn't covering deliveries that morning, and she didn't have any C-section scheduled. She asked who the caller was, and the staff told her that a gorilla at the zoo couldn't give birth on her own. What? Zoo? Rebecca froze. She had never had a non-human patient, and then the first one she gets is a gorilla. Just wow. Anyway, Rebecca put her fears aside because she knew the animal needed her. She stopped everything she was doing, rushed into her car, and sped to the zoo. The drive took about 20 minutes. When Rebecca got there, the staff hoisted Kira onto a stretcher. Then they moved her out of her cage and loaded her into a big van. They took her to a nearby building and Rebecca performed an ultrasound. The test showed the baby had a normal heart rate. The baby's head was facing down, however, and that was a problem. Gorillas deliver with their baby facing the front of the mother and Kira's baby was facing the wrong way round, which explains why Kira had a hard time pushing her baby out. The team was worried about the right way to deliver the baby. They didn't want to do a C-section because of the recovery period, so they decided they would go with whatever method Rebecca deemed fit. Rebecca washed Kira up and then she drained her bladder and sedated her. Afterward, she made a small nick in Kira's perineum to give the baby more room. It was now time to deliver the gorilla. Everyone held their breath and fixed their eyes on Kira. Rebecca took in a deep breath, then she pulled the baby out. The baby is here, Rebecca announced joyfully, and everyone rejoiced. The little boy weighed 5 pounds, 2.26 kilograms, and was in good health. That night, the staff at the zoo let Kira recover from sedation. Then the next morning, they introduced her to her baby. The two bonded instantly, and to date, they remain inseparable. When asked about the delivery experience, Rebecca said, For the most part, I was in the moment doing what I do every day. It wasn't until afterwards that it really hit me. Oh my, I believe I just delivered a gorilla. One beautiful thing about this story is that Rebecca delivered the baby gorilla when she was also 28 weeks pregnant herself. How beautiful. Let me know what you love about gorillas in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, kindly give it a thumbs up. See you soon.